Stay in tune, of course, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. As we get into the campaigns of Howl's Harrows, and Howl's Harrows will be coming to a conclusion next week, Sunday. The last episode of that, the last stand of Howl, will co be coming out. Then uh, we will be starting a new modded R Battletech playthrough on the Saturday before. Uh, that'll be the start of a new unified campaign. Which will operate very similar to our MechWarrior 5 campaign where we will be doing the things on Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll be having streams of it. And then the videos will be released spaced out throughout the week. So, uh, be prepared for that. Also, today, we are having a MechHQ stream at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. So make sure you swing on by to get that. Today, of course, is 3-7-2020. That's March of the 7th. Anyway, so uh, we are going to be rocking and rolling on a little bit of a convoy assault mission, four and a half skulls. Six of 25 priority salvage, though, is the thing that draws my eye, and 380,800 sea bills. Who cares about that? We're here for the stuff. And it might be a little bit difficult for us to get the stuff, but we have hope, we have dreams, and we have area of effect weapons. Oh yeah, and did I mention two full lances of mechs? So we need to stop them from moving off over to there. It appears that we did actually manage to get relatively close to the force. Hi! <laughs> it's Misery. Fascinating. Okay, so we we did manage to run into Misery already. Showboat is going to immediately get on the road. I know, it's kind of a kind of a dangerous thing to do, but we do see most of this convoy already. Uh -huh. Hello, most of this convoy. <laughs> Wait, Warthog Cass? That's... That's adorable that they attempted to make an A-10. I, I really do. That's adorable. I, I would note, though... That the A-10's main gun, while incredibly impressive, is not actually a tank-busting weapon. It's really more IVs and anti-infantry and light structure. So a Rack-10 might be a bit much for that. Uh, more like a, an AC-2 is more on that level. Rockets, chaff countermeasures, ER small lasers. Interesting choice. And flares. Uh, so getting through him is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. We have a scimitar and an LRM carrier. So I think I want the LRM carrier. Hydra's away, baby. I don't actually have to hit you, I just need to get close. Okay. Struggling to do it because they have another VTOL somewhere around here. Counterfire is immediate and harsh. And just as toasty. Oh, what do you got over here? You have a pirate manticore. Used one third of his hydro rockets. Okay, that could have been very dangerous to us. He is part of the hover tank convoy. <laughs> okay. Uh, please don't move. We got another vehicle moving on back towards us. They're focusing on the catapult because the catapult, you know, revealed herself. I should really set my AMS to maximum overload so that I can defend myself. I should have done that immediately, but we're just going to have to eat a little bit of pain for now. Catapult's doing an okay job of managing to hold on most of it. Took nearly 200 damage, so that's pretty fascinating, actually. Ooh, luckily for us, it's scattered all over the mech, so it's no concentrated amount of damage just yet. And the Catapult 3, of course, is equipped with a Dreadnought Gyro, which gives it a 5% damage reduction, and Pharaoh Laminar Armor, which gives it an additional 20%? 10%? Gives it an additional amount of damage reduction, so the mech itself doesn't take nearly as much damage, then it's in a forest, and then, because of the Dreadnought Gyro, it's always bulwarked, whenever it walks. So, I gotta say... If they're going to shoot at a mech, it's pretty tough to handle it. Although, you know, one damage is still one damage, so if you're shooting LRMs, they're probably being a little bit more efficient. But I will be... I don't want to learn... Ooh, what are you? An Atlas II with a sword. Oh, we got a Blackbeard. Okay. We got a Blackbeard and a Misery already. Life is a little bit painful, considering I need to knock out a whole ton of vehicles right here. Thunderstruck right there, and a Warthog cast, which I don't think should count, but apparently does. Okay, first things first. Uh, if you have an AMS, it's time to make sure it's okay. maximized at the maximum defense. By the way, the Thanatos is back, currently rocking a similar level of technology in terms of, you know, defense and that sort of thing, but now equipped with a sawed-off thumper. Uh, mainly because I didn't have a normal thumper to put back onto it, and I figured, well, it's our test bed mech, and I may as well test it. I originally actually wanted to test it with the, whatchamacallit, the Risk Hag, however, it did not work. Uh, the tonnage, well, the, the space wasn't there because I wanted to make sure it was in the arm where I could give it the greatest chance of being useful. Roger. Howl gonna rush on in, see if he can't see anything with any kind of accuracy because Howl is not really, well, she's not a pilot who can just shoot at anything she wants. She's a pilot who actually does need a target. I'll shoot the pirate medic, then. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, managed to miss all the shots, but we kind of expected that. It was 30, low 30s, 20s even. So, but we needed to get rounds on, down range. We didn't really generate all that much heat anyway, considering we're mostly a gas mech. But yeah, I need to get my arrows in here. They need to start dropping down in the middle of this entire group to barbecue everyone. Unfortunately, that's going to be a little bit difficult to get done. But I'll probably see if I can't multi-target here and here. Just light everybody up. Finn, speaking of, thank you for being here. Oh god, Finn does not have the ability to do that. In that case, target the alarm carrier. Inferno's away. Good night. Okay, that's 25% of the convoy. Plus, we started a fire over here, which may or may not end up being a bit of a mistake. However, I'll see what I can do in the interim. Shifting off to the sign. And we'll just lay down as much fire as we can across the entire thing. The pirate manticore is going to be difficult, and the helicopter is going to be difficult. Or the, the warthog cast is going to be difficult. And the reason is because killing it is not a function of just being able to lay down hydras. Because as you can see, you can't actually target him with hydras. He still gets affected by it, but he's going to be incredibly fast once he comes up. Coach. Yeah, the Thanatos. It's time. Ooh, I could move in to actually engage somebody. But it's the first round, I will never actually hit my target. So, what I'll do is I'll move for a sprint. I can't hit my target anyway, so I may as well just get some information going down. And a little bit of shell fire never hurt anyone. That's that's an entire, complete and total bald face lie. I got you. Structure exposed and probably shouldn't have done that. That was a waste. It was a waste of heat that I really can't afford all that much. Oh, well, actually, it didn't generate nearly as much heat as I thought you would. We did get a structure exposed result, which does mean he's somewhat vulnerable to damage. However, that is his top armor. So getting the final death blows on through is going to be a little bit of a challenge. We'll have to use an incendiary round from the Mackie when it comes up. Unfortunately, Mockingbird's not up until 17. So we have three more rounds to wait through. What's up, Commander? Death Grenades, King Crack. If anybody's going to be able to rock and roll anybody's world then it's absolutely the king crack. So let's just rush on in here as much as we can, place ourselves into a position where we can see everybody that we want. Bad shot, bad shot, bad shot. Eh, I might be able to get something on the thunder truck. Or the pipe manticore in the back. It's so far forward, it's a critical target to actually go after. I don't think I can actually sensor lock it. I'll check, but I think the sensor, yeah, the sensor range is super short right now. Uh, I could lay a sensor lock down to the scimitar, though it feels kind of pointless. Yeah, we'll save it. In any event, uh, Pirate Manicor, I'm going to shoot you in the butt. Decent number of hits and a penetration on that one. Unfortunately, we didn't get the lucky crit that I was kind of hoping to grab, which would have annihilated the target. Alrighty, so multiple targets in sight. I'm going to rush on forward because, again, I don't actually need to hit with this unit at all. I just need to light it on fire. Speaking of, could plasma cannons hit anybody? There's a chance for the Thunderstruck. Or are the Panamanicor. We'll do that. So, of course, uh, the Scimitar, the Pirate Manicor, whose bottom is wide open. Bravo, bravo. And let it rip. Hydras. The point defense is significant. I was hoping to get... Oh, wow, 19 of 30. And we missed by negative 4. Always the result you want to see. But we knew what we were getting. Well, we actually no, we didn't necessarily know what we were getting into. But please let me get an incendiary shell down before you move on. That is my greatest hope and dream. I could try and focus you with my emperor because the emperor has a lot of. Ooh, actually, emperor also has hydras, so that'll be helpful. Looks like he's moving. He's standing in fire, so he's not moving. Then can I take that as a as a possibility? He's almost exploded. Oh, please tell me he'll explode this round. Save me a little bit of trouble so I can start focusing on other things. Mainly that Warthog. I gotta shoot down the Warthog as fast as I can. Because as long as that thing's in the sky, it's it'll likely be incredibly fast. It'll probably be incredibly difficult to take down. I also have to still deal with mi with Misery and the Blackbeard, and I don't want to deal with either of them right now. On a convoy assault mission. And he pinged. Okay, that that's an interesting decision to make. Please explode, just randomly. I mean, he's possibly going to die. I don't know if they take the fire damage to their head when they're in the middle of it at the moment. So we'll find that out soon. But yeah, the King Crap currently looking things over, deciding who he needs to light up with all of his cannons soon. Hopefully we'll be able to make it work out. Self-propeller killer. Lovely. Mockingbird. Commander? You give me an Inferno shell. 
and you lay it right down in the middle of all these people. And you're gonna... Actually, no. We're gonna wait it over here since this guy's already dead. I'm trying to force it so that it'll hit him as well. Inferno shell going down. Gotcha. Getting banged up real good. I don't think that killed the target I wanted it to. Uh, it did not. So the warthog is still alive. The carrier or the scimitar is dead. How bad is the warthog? Warthog is taking a little bit of damage. Nothing too serious. Yes. Come but mockingbird can march on it. Mockingbird is also capable of tanking. This Mackie yeah. is armed and armored for the battle. So the only reason we didn't want to just start laying down even more shell fire is because we didn't have good lines of sight to fire our large lasers with. Misery is going to go for a punch and managed to hit us, which is minus one initiative next round, which really, really sucks. Because I kind of need to move aggressively. Order. The Impera moving last, of course. After all, he needs to show a certain amount of decorum. Of course, we're switching from two Hydras. The Warthog is untargetable. self propelled artillery, however, is not. However, the accuracy is too bad to actually try. So what I think I'm going to do is I will wipe out the Pirate Manticore. Or at least we'll do our best chance to get it. Because he's so far ahead of the rest of the group. So, a little bit of damage. Fire getting through. Not a lot of fire got through. He's almost dead, which is helpful. The Emperor, however, is not designed for a straight up brawl. In fact, it has some very bad stuff for that sort of thing. Fire is spreading. Show up. Show what I need you to push. And yes. Do you have there he is? Oh god, the Zephyr. And a heavy ammo book here. Okay, um Life is not good. <laughs> Jed, I don't care about Seth Stealth Bomber, part of the support group, I assume. I don't really see it. And opponent pursuit tank, part of the support group, Marauder. Life is pain. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Pirate Manticore is way up there. So you're part of the primary group. You have to die. Alright, Hydra's away, sir. God, I'm not going to deal with heat, am I? <sighs> Stay within range. Stay within range. Okay, I can work with that. Pirate Manticore also rushing on board. Get a little bit more heat on us with his rockets. This, that I'm will care needs to die. I can't not leave it. I can't leave it alive. But this is upon a pursuit tank I don't care about. For now. I mean, maybe it has some sort of deadly super weapon on board that I'm not aware of. It does not. I mean, the quad medium pulse glands aren't going to be rough. I mean, they hit like a truck. But. All things considered, it'll be fine, reasonably. Thunderstruck. I should worry about more than I am. A little more heat, but I'm okay. My heat's getting pretty high. Come on, come back to me. Finn is gonna have his hands full just nuking this guy with all of his all of his infernos. The heavy ammo will carry just needs to die as well. Cause that is just this is a dead mech right there. Some artillery firing, not able to connect. A little bit of light pulse damage, so we're okay on that one. 21 mi missiles shot down. We will not have that kind of luck with this heavy ammo carrier. <clears throat> Seth Stealth Bomber, backing off. You are not part of, part of the primary group, so while well, you're dangerous and terrifying, you're not part of the group that I need to immediately murderize. Alright. I don't want to be that close to him. The shot is good, the problem is I can't bring the pulses in. And I'm gonna need the pulses. Their their extra damage is gonna be pretty pretty key to making sure this works. I don't wanna be this close, but I don't have much of a choice. Quick stepping it. Okay. Because if the pulse lasers aren't involved, I'm probably not gonna be able to provide enough damage to murder him. Sense of lockdown. Lock. Take aim. Direct fire aim. Sort of Thumper has a direct fire mode. This much I know. Uh, shape charge. Can't tell if I'm in salt. Which mode I'm in. Doesn't matter. Fire everything you got. Missed with the big gun, which was kind of important. His armor is pretty much fried, but he's not dead. 
I kind of need him to be dead. Yeah, we fried his armor. Marauder stomping along. Marauder is not part of the primary target group. So I ignore him. I care about none of you right now. I care about you the most. I could try and get closer. Yeah, closer is the right choice. I mean, I'm ignoring misery, which is never a good idea, but... Like I said, that's a dead mech right there. And now it no longer exists, which helps. He was also casting a massive jamming field, so there was that. 17 is going to be misery. We'll find out exactly what's going to happen with that. Oh, you dick. <laughs> He's probably providing some sort of counter jamming right now, and that's not good. Uh, the Atlas, of course, needs to die as well. There are ways to handle them. Unfortunately, right now, my Hydras are all fully committed. Wait, is that two Long Tom Marauders? Yeah, it looks like it. He missed the Vulture, so there's that. Speaking of the Vulture. Yeah, there, there happens to be this that needs to die, if you wouldn't mind. Is he in sensor lock range? He's not. I will lay a sensor lock onto the Pirate Manticore. Hopefully to make somebody else's life just a little bit easier. And then I'm going to lay down as much fire as I can, and if I'm lucky, I'll hit him. Inferno. He's not dead. That's really bad. Because he's super fast. He's going to be there, if not next turn, then the turn after. And i got to make sure that I'm still in range. That's probably not going to happen. I mean, I'll have the range, I just won't have the line of sight. And if even one target gets away, then we lose. Jester. In the Emperor. How's my accuracy out here? 15% is not good enough. Give me that pirate, pirate manicure. Yeah, that'll do it. Probably. I use high explosives. Okay. Pirate manicure is out. And you can keep pushing up in the hills. Gain that elevation that you need so badly. Jed moving around. Jed's not a primary target. Couple of random shots. Not able to connect. Mockingbird. Well, if you want to be the center of your own party, pick the hell of a time. Got it. Okay. We're just down to the Warthog cast. He's going to be a little bit tougher to knock out. I had to use a lot of my artillery to get that done, too. Because I can't shoot at the Warthog gas with Hydras. If I want to hit him in the center core, core where he's weak, I've got an area fire. <laughs> you fired a gas rifle from the point blank range. I appreciate it, but I'm also going to ignore you now. King Crack. Yes. What I need from you, sir. Do you see from here? You see from here. This is the last target. Sensor lock him if you don't mind. We can go through it slowly. Sensor lock. Sensors locked on. Target the Warthog, 77. Run the gun. Let it rip. Primary target destroyed. Okay. Now, the game has changed. The game has changed in a significant and... Well, really, just a significant way. Yeah, we have new rules. And the rules are... Secure the area. I don't know what happened to my voice on that one. But yeah, secure the area. Time to work the enemy down. Alright, here are going to target you. Switch over to SRM Infernos. We're going to Warlord you, just to make sure that I can get a little bit more accuracy, because I don't want to have to deal with misery. Not this close. There we go, lots of heat build up. Now he's got to worry. This is just an ugly dogfight. There's <laughs> really kind of no other way to put it. There's a ballista artillery tank. Yes, there is. SRM Inferno, SRM Inferno. Light him up. There is the ballista. We're removing their area of effect control. So that I can then get a little bit of a greater handle on what's on going way. on here. Temperature is down on her. She's back under control. Got the opponent pursuit tank coming back. Yeah, this is a nice little tight goat rope. 
I am not sure how this is going to play out. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Do we know what kind of marauders we're dealing with yet? Long Tom Marauder, and the other one is a Long Tom Marauder. Of course it does. What are your orders, Skipper? Coach, you're Thanatos. <laughs> I'm frankly amazed that you're alive, if we're completely honest with each other. Uh, you have shooting scoot? You do. How do you not hit any of these sawn off thumper rounds? So why would I invest so much firepower into him? He's an atlas. I mean, that that's the long and the short of it. He's going to wade into the battle and he's going to beat like a club. Like that poly on his shoulder, this thing here, it's a raven, which is basically a large pulse laser. His AMS is at least down, so we've managed to overcome that. Here are smalls, the fire fists and the, the vibro sword in his hand. Oh yeah, he's also got a giant boom cannon in his shoulder. So he's not really something you want to mess with too much. Hi, time to shut you off, because I don't want to deal with your crap. There we go. Shut down. Come on, bail up, pilot. Now he's not going to make my life super easy. Paradox has now just become a major target, but Paradox is in the back. You will notice behind the vulture, which is a little bit of an odd thing to have done. But don't worry, we have it under control. How's King Crack doing? Four guns are up and his temperature is under control. Good. That sounds like something I can use. There is a Seth Cell bomber out here still that I do need to knock out. Yes, uh, doing so is going to take a little work. What do you see right now? The Thunderstruck needs to die, actually. That is an important target. I love how you're managing to miss supposedly easy shots. Apparently they're not having the best of days. So I'm going to back and take high ground. High ground is good ground. For several reasons. One is you get a better view of the area, but mechanically in-game. Uh, the high ground will give you an accuracy bonus, the enemy an accuracy debuff, and the high ground happens to be containing, well, a lot of forest. And the forest we can work with a well. So that, uh, that atlas over here, you can't see me pointing so I'll use my mouse, is equipped with a boomstick, which is an LB-20X autocannon that weighs 10 tons. The LBX 20 auto cannons already weigh super less. I believe it's 12 tons for the Inner Sphere one and 11 tons for the Clan one, which is wildly outside what they should be. They should be 14 and 13 tons respectively, but that's an argument for another day. So that's a huge amount of firepower. He's also carrying a Vibro Sword. He's also got a hook for a hand, which gives him more melee, and a pair of Fire Fists. So he punches like a truck, which is not good. We don't want to have to deal with that. Unfortunately, the Thanatos is probably close enough to be punched at at this moment so the thanatos is going to have to begun begin a phased retreat now we have managed to mostly capture one of their mechs which will be helpful in the coming storm because the misery is offline the misery is a decent amount of firepower hi oh, do i try it i don't know bandits misery no atlas no thunderstruck potential marauder maybe Jed, no. On a pursuit tank, no. Taking the shot. Okay, we do have a penetration on you. Inflicted some heavy damage. So I'd like to remove the Seth Stealth Bomber from the equation for many reasons that are pretty obvious. It has Let's potentially go. four one-shot arrows, which are very painful to have to deal with. You're not turning on, buddy. I'm going to fry you next turn and light you on so much fire that you'll probably explode. If I get lucky and just blow up a couple of things next turn, you'll definitely bail. So the opponent is dangerous in close. He's got four uh, four pulse lasers in an SRM-6. So not exactly something that you want being shooting you in the back. Actually, an incredibly good anti-vehicle unit that would be in the tabletop. Yes, come in. But I have more things to kill. Atlas is not a target I want to engage right now. I'm really tempted to keep the temperature down by just rolling into you. Oh, but that Marauder is a shot that must be taken. Let it rip. That's why we had to take it down. We can that. No, we're, we're not here. Well, we are here for salvage, but we're not here for a Marauder a long time. Plus, there's two of them. Are you kidding me? He didn't shut down, right? Okay, the, the audio just freaked out. We're going to have to get the King Kraken to cover. It's a problem. I don't think anybody's got any more Hydra Infernos, though. Which is lucky for us, because if they did, the King Kraken could be easily shoved over the line. And then something I really don't want to have to deal with right now is my my big 100-tonner death machine to be off. 
Now he's probably going to have to spend a turn not shooting anybody, yeah, which, yeah, not ideal. But something that can be dealt with. The Inferno. Because this does still splash air targets, which is why I'm investing Inferno shells over there. There we go. And the large lasers fired, but we did take out the Seth. So now I don't have to worry about suddenly random arrows dropping down on me. Uh, you can move up there, still face out, have that high ground, be, pre be prepared to shoot down in. I don't think the Atlas moves. I can take advantage of that. Hi, Atlas. Direct fire, shape charge, Hydra's away, Warlord it up. Hey, up, buddy. Get that heat building on him. I don't think he has endo TSM, but he might. In which case, I'm now helping him. He didn't move, though. I hear ya. Paradox is up. Paradox, get the honor on the way a little bit, just so I have some protection. Heading out. And then Misery, target his face. Infernos, plasma target cannons, you know the deal. Pilots out. So, that's a good start. Step two. Navigate the fire. <laughs> oh, that's our biggest problem right now, is navigating all this fire, because there's a lot of it. Infernos, swarms, swarm hydra. Because it didn't seem to have a good chance using just the SRMs. So if you start laying into them with, with their uh, area of effect ones, you might have a more effective chance. I do intend to cook him as well, take him. He's got a lot of pirate gear on him. He's got boomsticks, which are huge. Um, if I have a second boomstick, I might be able to create a twin boomstick mech. Which, as we saw back when we had the charger, is kind of amazing. Might actually be something good for Howl. Hmm, that might be an idea. Uh, yep. Maybe be a rather significant change in the way that the mech is designed, but we really good. <clears throat> Pull back a little bit. Oh, that's a really good shot. That's a really good shot. Good shot. By the way, the right arm on the Thanatos is equipped with a recoil plus and a weapon mount in order to or the left arm on this, recoil plus and a weapon mount, which gives him a plus four accuracy alone with that. So he also has an additional for firing indirectly. Oh, that's so tempting. Because if I get a good hit, I could break something and cause it to crit. But no, I'll work on the Thunderstruck, because I, I worry about this TBM. Copy that. That's penetration, but not a kill. Reporting. <laughs> He's crit critically hit though, so that might help out. If I move before the Atlas, I can absolutely cook him. Uh, Death Crusade. Death Crusade needs to spend a turn not being involved in war. So I'll fall back like so. Brace it up. I got him under temperature. Next turn, he'll be able to ride back up and do something. This Marauder keeps running away. An interesting plan, but it will not save you. And let's kill you. There we go. Thunderstruck is off the board. Got 75% of the supporting lance 1 and 2. The convoy escorts, of course, still not quite handled. Although they will be. Although this might actually be the convoy escorts. Alright, you can pull back a bit as well. I don't intend for you to... F actually, no. Start moving to pursue. Because you are, after all, driving a mad cat, and what kind of mad cat pilot would avoid the chance to pursue, to chase down? A little bit of light fire onto the catapult. Nice try. But the catapult, as usual, not really caring. Well, actually, no, that's not true. The catapult absolutely cares. Especially when half the catapult suddenly, you know, detonates, and then suddenly you don't have the cool stuff you wanted anymore. Like your four MML-10s. God, if I can get four more MML-10s, I'd put them on that mech. But all of the things that we run into are equipped with MML 20s. <laughs> and we're not playing 1.8 Road Tech where that's already been buffed. Okay, Atlas got to move. He'll be able to sink most of that heat. It's firing Polly towards us. Or no, just large it? What? Barely hit the meta. No, that was a Firestar with twin large lasers. Firestar. That's a fascinating setup up there. You thought you were getting away? 
Need I remind you exactly who you're fighting? You, sir, have kit inside of you that I want. And I am going to barbecue you for every last ton. Chester, the Emperor. Um, let's reset that. There we go. That'll hurt quite nicely. Oh, that's a back shot. Oh yeah, we're doing that. Multi target. Atlas. Long Tom. Bravo. Bravo. Shape charge. Indirect, because we're not in direct range. And Hydrus. Lock and load. So we've overwhelmed his point defense system, which means we're going to be able to cook him. <laughs> that was a shattering Down. shot. Beautiful. The Emperor, as always, just delivering so deliciously. I adore this mech. I truly do. The amount of firepower that it brings to the table is hilarious. In a word, hilarious. 69. Let's, let's increase that a bit, shall we? Without the large lasers, of course. And he's cooked. It only took an incendiary shell directly applied to his back in order to do it, but it's been done. Good job. Stand still. So we're gonna cook you. We're gonna cook you bad. Shabba. Uh, your orders are to make this man reconsider his life choices. If at all possible from the side. Uh, I've identified more. Got a Hetzer laser, which is a terrible Hetzer. A fire starter. You don't say. Pretty fascinating. Uh, we're sitting over to Infernos. Light him up. You may not want to be in that mech for much longer, buddy. Trust me. It's not exactly conducive for a long, healthy life. Oh, he's trying to get under control. How adorable. Where's my Thanatos? I think I have this Thanatos running away before. I could absolutely murder you and you know it. But in the meantime... Solid hit on the pursuit tank. Busted through the armor as well. The Sada Thumper seemed to be working well. Although I'm not quite sure what it counts as. I mean, it's almost an AC-10, I suppose. Just with a better range, maybe? I did throw on a lot of accuracy gear. I wonder if I put a Gauss rifle there instead, if that just might be better. <laughs> I think it can fire indirectly, I'm just not entirely sure. Fire starter coming in. Ooh, nailing us with the large lasers. Just being quite accurate. I'm not happy with that. Alright, uh, we're fin. Pursuit tank is dead. Jed also could kill. He's only got light rifles, though. Bandit, I could hurt. The fire starter. That's her laser. It's a laser. It is guided to death. Enjoy. And gone. See? This is why arrows are the best weapon in the game. Bar none. King Crack. Back under temperature and ready to play. Could hurt the Jed. Could kill the Charger. I mean, I don't exactly want to jam the gun. I guess under temperature. Hopefully not jam the gun. Play sensor lockdown as well. See if I can improve my odds a little bit. Is the jet in range? The jet is just in range. Sensor lock for you, my friend. You shall not escape me. 47 is much better. Got him. We are systematically removing them one at a time. Okay, got an opponent person tank still running away. May not be the uh, target that you want to get close to, considering that I'm probably about to lay some some by a lot of fire onto him. Uh, you're down to four rounds of hydras, so I'll save you for paradox. Uh, the opponent I know I can kill. Charger I can hurt. Bandit I can't kill right now. Air attack. He tried to get away. Let's demonstrate why that was not a not a solid plan. 
I was hoping they deal a sufficient amount of damage to kill him. Losing armor left and right. I suppose that was the best I could have hoped for. He only had a small weakness to his back. Got a bandit H coming on in, seeing if he can't provide a little bit of support to a very, very dented Atlas. Speaking of, where is Paradox? I don't know if that was supposed to be an SRM 2 or what. There's Paradox. Paradox would murder this. <laughs> Howl first. Yeah, Howl, do you have a target on that uh, opponent that's fleeing? With horrible accuracy, but yes. Alright, in that case, move like so. Like the wind, as they say. I want to kill the opponent. Can I kill you? I really can't. We'll give it a lucky shot. Oh, good job. Alright, psychological warfare in effect now. Paradox. Time to conduct psychological warfare operations. Can you get to his side? No, this is going to be a strike to his rear. Okay, that kind of sucks, but we'll deal with it. 160 armor, he should be able to handle this. Plus 53, he did not feel the heat enough. Alright. Sniper, Inferno. As you know. What's your direct attack? 37. Let's do this. Get ourselves back involved in the fight. Through the fire. Beautiful shot, terrible shot, bad shot. Direct. That way I don't accidentally shoot myself. Yeah, that'll work. Ten four. Didn't work, but we gave it a shot. Alright, Showboat, back what to the top. What Showboat's gonna do is Showboat's gonna just gonna run like so. Take aim at him, focus his face, and light him on a lot of fire. Do you still want to be in this mech? Hopefully not. I mean, you're on your back now. Get out of the Blackbeard. He's stressed, but only stressed. He thinks he has this under control. My heat units will have to continue their barbecue action. Although, he's almost out armor on his head. Might be able to get lucky on this one. Blow his head off. That might work. The head is, of course, uh, a internal integral piece of equipment, so he can't ever actually lose it. No matter how hilarious that would actually be. Hi. If I got to your side, 160 armor? Holy crap, who built this thing? Don't tell me, I don't want to know. It's not sure I do. Because I want to contract them. No or, you know, destroy their, their factory workshop. Oh, so beautiful how I managed to nail two Gauss ruffle shots right into him. Where did those actually end up drifting into? into his side and to his front. Not bad. The bandit now has an incredibly weak side angle which can be exploited with fire. And fire. And potentially high explosives but mostly fire. Because fire is the way of champions. Paradox is up now. Let's see if I can't cause him a little bit of an existential crisis. Oh yeah of course I can't shoot him except in the face now. Amel's plasma cannons target the face. Target confirmed. And he's out. Structure exposed. He wasn't about to hang around any longer. Not to let the fire in. Alright, who is next? Well, we shift on down over here. We want the charger. Um, we're going to see if we can't get our hands on it. It is a CGR 2A2, which I'm not familiar with. Uh, it's clearly not a 2A1. And, or 5A1? The A1 chargers, which have five small lasers for, you know, all the firepower that they could ever possibly need. I might be able to kill this bandit. I'm gonna give it a sensor lock just to improve my odds a little bit. But, um, well, I've got a lot of firepower coming, raining on your, your, raining on your parade. Two, gone. All right. So we're down, it appears, well, no, there should be three vehicles. We've got a charger, a fire starter, and a what? Ready to rock. In any event, the Thanatos time to move forward. No target. Orders. The Emperor. Roger. Do I want to just start shelling you? I mean, you're such an easy target. I'll give you Hydras, but yeah, we're going to give you some high explosive. 
just to see how you sort of handle it. King Crack, of course, needs to chill out a bit. On my way, double time. The rocket tens. We'll wait. Reading you. And the Mackey is out of, of course, incendiary shells, if I'm not mistaken. Or you might have one. Yeah, you got one left. Give it to him. A gift for him. Taking the, shot. the temperature rises. And he's over here. So let's see how he handles the heat. Well, somebody's going to start raining on the gas wolf. And swarm ammunition as well. That's a carrier. So we got the fire starter with the Putin large laser, which means the tsunami starter. Uh, on the bright side, he didn't hit us this time, but he does have an XL engine. Should be easily exploitable. And you are a Brutus. A Brutus salt tank. Such a brute. Alright, so we're at the stretching. No shooting. You only have swarm swarms now. I have no interest in this fire starter. Swarm to death. See, I can return fire with swarms. Standing by. The vulture. I do not believe I have any more. I do have two infernos. I kind of don't believe I'll need them. Paradox, where are you? Uh, never mind. I'm actually absolutely going to need them. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get in range to do anything. Yeah, no. That'll give him a turn to chill. The Thanatos, of course. There you are. Not here. You. You, you seem to be well in hand. Ugh. Bull shots are terrible. Missed by negative three once again. The laws of physics to bend go. to our will. Good at the Brutus. I mean, a pair of guided and guided shells right in his face. Let's see what happens. Good. We got penetration. That's what I want to see. Acknowledged. And on to them. Charger pulling back. That's not a terrible idea, all things considered. Waiting for orders. The Emperor. On my way. See if I can't Double focus time. on the Brutus. 52. It's not great. I'll just lay down some high explosive. In a random shelling pattern. Locking on target. Pop, pop. I'm looking for critical hits. So doing that makes my life kind of easier. Ready for orders. King Crack. Cracking. Okay. What's oh, cracking like it, buddy? I'm gonna give him the full force here. Because, well. Oh, he didn't die. So disappointing. You've managed to disappoint me. I shall not forget it. Sure, let's Warlord. Why not? <laughs> I was not expecting an actual hit on that one. I was expecting to be disappointed. I was not. And the fire starter goes down onto his back. He's not dead, but he's, you know, on the ground. Which helps out. And the Brutus, of course, with his swarm. Gonna continue to rain on the Gauss Wolf, but the Gauss Wolf has friends now. And the point defense has kicked in. Yes, Commander. And the Mackie. I mean, I can lay down pin precision fire. Please do. Shape charge. That. And I just don't think there's a mech That's anymore. Mackie just slowly pacing forward. Must be a terrifying sight to see that. The Mackie with a giant artillery cannon and then just suddenly unleashing with the ER large lasers. It's like, I didn't even realize this was a capability that you had. And the answer is yes, we absolutely did. You should have realized it. I'm really hoping that this charger isn't just going to keep on running away to try and circle around, considering he's one of the last units. I think he just stood still. Waiting on you, Commander. I think he just stood still. I'll take that. And he's in Inferno range. Yeah, let's rock. Okay, get anything started. He's already toasty. 
Can you get a line of sight on the Brutus? I can! Aha, ah, and it's a sideline where we know you're already weak. Okay, um, I think you may have missed the point of actually shooting at him. How's it going? Thanatos. That'll do. Uh, do, do me a favor and don't miss. <laughs> How might get shot in the back by a, uh, by a sort of thumper? Just be careful with it. Got it. Pinpoint. Sawed off thumper operating perfectly. One less and now Paradox. Paradox will be in uber long range, so we can utilize that. Hydra's away. And then Finn comes in with the last little bit. Inferno. And the Megazel flying. The Meg is also, you know, suffering from from a broken structure, so don't get too much. Don't do any more of that. Roger that. So there is only one thing boy. left to do. Standing by. That is to just have everybody brace while Showboat moves in for the I kill. I don't think Showboat can get in for the kill. I think we are somewhat limited. Because I don't want to kill him. And an open structure point with fire is a recipe for instantaneous death. Skipper. We'll just have everybody Roger. chill. Thank Except, of course, for Thanatos, who can also try and get in. On the move. But everybody can just sit still, relax, break out the cards, have a good time. Yeah, you're, you're not going anywhere, buddy. I've got your number 100% down. Am I being a little bit overly aggressive trying to go for a charger of all things? Yes. But, what's the point if you're not having fun? Hi. Took me a while to get here. Uh, so Inferno ML 20s. Would you mind getting out of the mech? <laughs> How's it going? Paradox is in a position to shoot his back. You want fast? Which again, I don't I want to do. Hey, and everybody else can chill. I got you. There's just a end turn button. <laughs> What's up, boss? I have no intention to move anybody. We're done. All right. Let me know when you We've won. We're just seeing whether or not we get to have a little bit of a bonus at the end. You're standing in fire, man. Standing just, just give up. You're standing in fire, your mech's on fire, and you're looking at a mech that deals out fire. As part of its regular daily curriculum. Do you really want to stick to this mech? Answer me honestly. There he goes. I was somewhat starting to somewhat worry whether or not he could not eject from the mech because it might be a primitive. And it was only just dawning on me that that might be a thing. But no, in fact he did have an ejection seat and he utilized it because he's an intelligent young man who realized that being in a mech that's on fire is probably not a good idea. Alrighty. Terry 77,000. Relatively light considering the sort of like dog fight that that it was at the very beginning. Things could have been really bad. <sighs> we can pick up the entirety of the Blackbeard and the Charger. The Charger comes in two parts. The Blackbeard comes in three parts. I'm not keeping the Blackbeard. Stalker comes in three parts. There's enough Marauders sitting on the field to build another Marauder. Alright, is there anything worth stealing in this? The Heavy Armor 40, a Long Tom Gun. I think I have several of these. I have two. Uh, Magnum medium lasers. The risks are tempting. Poly. Poly is a large pulse laser that deals up to 84. So it's a pirate large pulse laser. So uh, plus one accuracy and ignores one evasion. A multi-shot laser fires a barrage of laser beams. Three plus three accuracy to weapons mounted in the same location. Plus one defense against being hit. Plus 20% sensor range. Plus 25% sight range. Active sensor probes counter ECM stealth by three. Bonus of two to the sensor detection. Provides an additional sensor information. Minus 15 signature. Minus 15 visibility. Electronic countermeasure suite grants three easy... This thing is the most broken piece of equipment I've ever seen, and it's mine. Uh, sniper artillery, don't need it. Sawed of thumper, I've already got one, and I am using it. Uh, it's still in our testing phase at the moment. We'll find out more about that. Engine core quantity twos. 400 ready core. That came from the charger, no doubt. 
XL engine and a light engine, neither of which interest me. None of these fire control systems. Well, the, the indirect plus plus is really nice, but I have two of them. So I'm not in a desperate need for them, which is good. Oh, they got a re and bees. Hand socks I don't like. I think they're... This is the other hand. It's a plus 20%. I believe the hands melee that we have are more than that. 38 heat sinks all bundled happily and nicely for you. The Royal Double Heat Sink Kit I am going to miss out a little bit. The Viper Sword Large came from his thing. I've already got one, so it's not like it's giving me an axe back that I desperately need in order to fix my Black Knight, which was so amazing. I think this is actually going to be a reasonable pick. Got to get two mechs and poly. Oh, of course, Duton's Hydra. Uh, let's see, we also got three parts to a Marauder, and that was it, so they gave us all stuff, Sniper Artillery, a couple of Fusion Cores, not the one I wanted, I wanted the 400, I already have enough 400s, but I wanted another one, or you know, more Marauder parts, give me the entire Stalker, <laughs> give me all of Misery, but yeah, we're gonna be able to build a, we're, I'm not gonna keep the Blackbeard, the Blackbeard's cool, the Blackbeard's Mimi is all heck, yes, I get that, but at the end of the day, I've had one before, <laughs> I'm not going to use another one. Apollo's campaign had a Blackbeard. I'm kind of amused slash annoyed. I don't know if annoyed is the right word, but I am amused that we continually step on each other's toes when picking up mechs between Apollo and Howell's campaigns. Which kind of, I suppose, is indicative of the, just the place that we are. But yeah, Polly will be excellent. It's a turret. It's a very useful turret. And the reason I picked it up is because that Risk Hag, if I can fit it into the same location, that would be ideal. In fact, let me check that. Do I have a mech I can just sort of test that on? Not the barracks. Although I appreciate you checking in on my people. Do I have a mech that I can check a... Yes. Yes, I can. This is not a build or anything. This is purely just a speculative look. So if I were to strip equipment... Oh shoot, I can't do it. <laughs> it will need an energy and a ballistic hard point in the same location. That's gonna be pretty hard to come by. That's gonna be incredibly hard to come by. Yeah, there's Polly. Polly can only fit on a torso location. Does Polly step on turret? Polly does step on turret, okay. So it is a better turret. So what I want needs to have a ballistic mount and an energy mount in the same location. Which probably might actually be fairly decent for, for the Hellstorm artillery piece that I have. Your energy are all in your hands. Your energy are in your torsos, but your ballistic is in your opposite torso. If I recall correctly, I don't think it steps on them. Maybe? No, your, yours are all in your hands. You separate your ballistic and your energy out quite nicely. By quite nicely, I mean somewhat annoyingly. I don't think the Roughneck has has an energy hard point at all actually no it has one in its head and maybe i'm lucky it'll have one in its torso it's probably a center torso mount rough next eight days away yeah that's not gonna happen in time but what i want to do is i want to combine the risk hyper assault gauss with poly because the Risk Hyper Assault Gauss doesn't fit in an arm the way I want it to. Because if you put it in an arm with a lower arm actuator, it fills up the entire arm so there's no room to put the weapon mount onto it. So if I could get the plus three out of Polly, that might be worth it. We'll have to see. Quick check of the barracks, of course, because our pilots have now finished their rest and relaxation. All leveling up to try and get our next level of tens. Coach New Finn just leveled up. He got his level 10 gunnery. So he's finally a pinpoint accurate death machine that we all knew he would eventually become. Mega is not getting leveled up. And Popo is just there for his technical knowledge. Oh yeah, and a quick check of the store as well. See if anything interesting comes up. Need wait for it to cycle. There it is. Faction, what you got? 
What are you holding? Hey, it's a Marauder. Long Tom Cannons, which apparently go for three and a half million. I don't know why, but... Arrows, I would kind of understand that. But Long Toms, not so much. Long Toms maybe are good. Maybe I'll try and get my hands on some of them. I should field them at some point. Twin Long Tom mech. That would be fun. Just is so heavy. Yeah, nothing interesting in the store anymore. We do, of course, have our mech bay. Which has two brand new mechs we need to put into it. Also, the Marauder. Long Tom, goodbye. You know, if I actually kept one of these and built it. Yeah, Charger 2A2. Ready that up. Yes. And the Blackbeard. So, of course, we're not going to keep the Blackbeard. Uh, it's... Where is it? There it is. 100 ton Alice. Cool design. Has a dapper hat that you can't quite see. A peg leg. A hook for a hand on its arm. And you can see the giant, you know, amusing cannon. It's quite funny, but I've used it before. It does have some interesting gear. But the charger interests me. What does the charger have? Ooh, might not have enough ballistic slot or special slots. Can the charger rise again? The charger could. Ooh. And it's not. Do I have the gear? I don't. Never mind. The charger will not rise again. I thought I had another boomstick. I don't. So there's no point to that. Still, it's nice to have a charger again. Chargers are fun. I actually really do like them. I know they're terrible mechs, but they have a special place in my heart. You actually have five missile hard points. Wait, really? I mean, I could turn you into some pretty interesting things. We could just cram you full of heavy MRMs. One's even in the hand. Huh. That might be interesting. Out of curiosity. Just, just indulge my curiosity for but a moment. <laughs> it fits. Okay. That, that might be a way to go. <laughs> just cram him full of heavy armor on 40s. We were thinking about doing that to the longbow. I mean, he's basically a longbow. Huh, that's an interesting thought. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Tyrank. If you've been enjoying what you've been seeing, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Apparently, YouTube is changing their search algorithm, making it mostly worthless. So if you're not subscribed, you probably will never see me again, and I will miss you. I will miss you greatly. Uh, but yeah, we are also today, uh, if you happen to be watching this on the day it came out, uh, March the 7th, we are having a Mech HQ stream at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. We're continuing our Striking Serpents campaign, which is a campaign made of made up of members of our Discord that we're playing through. Basically, it's sort of a semi-role-playing game, semi-watch-choose-your-own-adventure thing. Uh, and I'll be basically showing off Mech, Mech HQ, which is tabletop battle tech. Like the original classic battle classic tabletop so also known as cbt classic battle tech uh we'll be showing that off playing through doing a couple of missions maybe uh, explaining a couple of things if people have questions i'll answer them as to the best of my knowledge and also make sure you join us for our twitch when we stream on wednesdays fridays and saturdays uh wednesdays and saturdays are normally some form of modded rogue tech and next week Saturday we will be starting up a new modded road tech playthrough and on Fridays we play Me uh, Mech Warrior 5 with friends we're currently doing a modded hardcore playthrough where uh, we basically make the game much harder on ourselves with a couple of house rules it makes things a lot more interesting and a lot more difficult the way I think the game probably should have been originally anyway I will see you all in the next episode